I'm so happy you're here. I'm happy. This is your first Tonight Show appearance. This is my first time, you this guys. Is... <laughs> I'm happy that you're here. Uh, what a great time, because this is your sixth season. You have a lot going on right now. You're also on Shrinking yeah. on a Apple TV+. Plus. Jason Siegel and Harrison Ford. Yes, we have some fans. Uh, I have questions about you, though, because uh, before comedy was a part of your life, you were a hairdresser. Yeah. Yeah. I did hair. Oh, uh, that's cool. Yeah. And what, did you? Did everyone know? Did all your clients know that you were funny? And they were like, "Oh, you're going to be on Saturday Night Live, and you're going to be." Not at all. I I kept the comedy thing very secret. So when I told them, like. Yeah, I, I'm actually leaving the salon to pursue comedy. They all said, are you funny? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, I just said, time will tell. Wow. <laughs> are you funny? I, all you do is talk to them the whole time. <laughs> yeah. were, were, are, are you a good hairdresser? I am a good hairdresser. I did all my friends, all my family. Actually, my last holdout um, client was my dad. Oh, I know. Because he had a very specific haircut um, that he's been getting for decades. Um, I don't know if any of the guys are familiar here. It's called the mummy cut. OK, so no. Do you, have you ever gotten the mummy cut? No, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> OK. Um, the mummy cut is Brendan Fraser and the mummy's hair. Oh. Are you guys recalling Oh, yeah, now I, now I know what you're talking about. This is, oh, yeah. OK. Right? It's like a pretty cool well, haircut. No, it is. Uh, yeah, he's a stud. Yeah, okay. of course. Okay, so um, my dad's been getting that cut for 25 years. Oh. And it was a big night in our family when Brendan Fraser won the Oscar because the next morning I got a text from my dad that said, Brendan for the Oscar, dot, 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 and I chose the haircut years ago. <laughs> and so I think he's, yes. So he thinks he's responsible for Brendan Fraser getting an Oscar? Yes, but I didn't hear Brendan Fraser thank Rick Gardner. So tonight, <laughs> maybe we thank Rick Gardner. Yeah, thank you, Rick, thank you. for Brendan's career. Oh, here is your dad. Oh, interesting. Here's your dad with the mummy cut. Mummy cut, right? Yeah, not too bad. The swoops. Yeah, he looks good, actually. Yeah. Yes. Wow, fantastic. He's a stud. The white shirt. Rick, good job. Congratulations! It's a mummy cat. Uh, are, are you uh, are you from uh, Kansas City, right? This is this. I know you're a big Kansas City. Kansas, you love it. I love it. You do. I love it. Yeah, I think good nights. I see you when you wave good night. Sometimes you're wearing the jersey or something that head to toe Chiefs overalls. Yeah. All, all Kansas City. Um, even when I go home now, I love to go back to Kansas City. And actually, my dad, Rick Gardner. Um, we have a tradition. I know him. You know Rick, the yeah, mummy cut. Yeah, he's the, the one that cut. got Brendan Fraser the Oscar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we all know. My dad. Pretty famous. Um, so he has this tradition where he likes to take me to like the greasiest diner or find like the most loaded burger yeah. of stuff. And so this last time I went home, he was like, I found this ground beef taco where the cheese is the powder from Kraft Macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> it's at a place called In a Tub, <laughs> and their sign is a bathtub. Um, we got to go try it. And I go, that sounds disgusting. Yes, let's go. Yeah, of course. Yes. <laughs> it does, uh, to me, that sounds fantastic. Yes. So the cheese is the powder from Kraft Macaroni yeah, and Cheese? Yeah, you have kids, you know. Oh, for the kids. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like something I would love to eat. Yeah, the kids get in line. Yeah, powder. exactly, yeah. Um, so we get in the car to go, and it just so happens that I decided to wear, like, the most expensive, pristine pair of white pants. We go to In a Tub. We're eating, eating the ground beef taco with the powdered cheese. It's delicious. He was right. Yes. I get, like, just the tiniest speck of that powdered cheese on my pants. And I knew if I took a napkin, it would spread it. You can't touch it. Yeah, so I was like, I'm going to have to blow this off. But I was, like, at a weird angle to, like blow on myself. And my husband, who was also enjoying a ground beef taco, I turned to him and I was like, hey, babe, would you just blow that cheese off my pants? And he was like, oh, yeah, babe, I got it. And he takes a massive breath in. And then the second he starts blowing, ground beef just starts spraying. <laughs> and he lays a strip of the greasiest chewed up taco meat uh... all over <laughs> my pants. Yes, of course, that's what happens.
So You're, they ended up costing us like $500. Yeah, exactly. I'll tell you that's what happened when you go to in a tub. Exactly. Yes. Uh, did you go crazy when Travis Kelsey was on SNL? Oh my God. I mean, I've been begging Lauren for two years to have Travis Kelsey host the show because I had a feeling. I was like, not only is he the greatest tight end of all time, he's funny, he's charming, he's going to be great. And Lauren was like, yeah, of course he can host Heidi. He just has to win the Super Bowl. Yeah. And I was like, that's a lot to ask. <laughs> yeah. And then he went and did it. Then he went and did it. And I keep saying he won the Super Bowl and then he won SNL because he killed it. Oh, he did crush it, yeah. Yes. If it wasn't for you and your dad, what would we do with all these other people's careers? <laughs> We're winning Oscars. We're winning <laughs> Super Bowls. Bowls. These are the gardeners. Yeah. Do you like having celebrities, uh, sorry, so, gosh, celebrities, athletes host as opposed to just celebs? I do, because I'm a huge sports fan. And I feel like just the stakes are a little bit lower, because no one's expecting like an athlete to be great. They're already great at the thing they do. So when they, <laughs> when they are great, it's like everyone's saying, like you read the reviews of the Kelsey show, and it's like, he's the greatest actor of all time. He's better than half the cast. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. No, it, that, no that wasn't, that's not the truth. But he <laughs> was amazing, by the way. Yeah. Uh, he, that was a phenomenal show. It was so fun. Uh, I will say my favorite sketch that you did this season uh, was the Joker sketch. Yeah. It was so funny. And your delivery, by the way, was phenomenal. It was perfect. I was like, oh, my gosh. Heidi Gardner for the win on that one. That was Joker, just... don't dress like the Joker just... at my wedding. <laughs> yeah. That was an Andrew Dismuth sketch. He always puts me in stuff, and I'm so lucky. No, he's so no, he's so lucky to have you to be <laughs> to put in a sketch. Uh, Heidi, you're phenomenal on the show. Congrats Thank on you. everything. Best your dad. <laughs> Thanks for being on the show. I appreciate it. Heidi Gardner, Saturday Night Live, returns April 1st with host Quinta Brunson, musical guest Lil Yachty. We'll be right back with Michaela Shepard. Stick around, everybody. Hey, hey.